Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We're in London today, and I'm joined, of course, from Sum 41. It's Derek. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Good yeah, to yeah. see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, congrats. Just wrapped up this huge UK tour we were just talking about. That's got to have been a lot of fun getting out there, seeing some some kind of new places than you'd normally play, I think, as well. Yeah, there's some new places. Um, we did a few of our own shows, and then we've also been doing some European festivals as well. Nice. So. Yeah. Getting getting right into album campaign mode. Clearly, yeah, just this start, is it. starting back up. Yeah, starting back up, starting back up. Well, let's dive right in with that. Uh, the new album. I mean, you've done a great uh, interview in the mag about this as well. But I guess the the obvious point is that. In terms of your working process, it certainly sounds like you were more relaxed than, say, you were on the previous record. I think, you know, dealt, De- dealt with some stuff there and now. Is it more relaxed process? Definitely more relaxed than the first or the previous record. Sure. But um, I don't know if they're ever really relaxed. Right. You know, there's, you're still, you know, you're trying your best. There's, you put a lot of pressure on yourself no matter what. But um, this one felt more inspired, I would say. Okay. The music came a lot quicker than before. I think I wrote all the songs in about three weeks. Um, and so the majority of the work went into just making the record. Right. But not a lot of time spent on writing, That, which usually... I, that's usually a good sign when yeah. it just comes that quickly. Why do you think that is? Do you think it was just because you guys are more settled into being back, I suppose, and being back uh, playing your music again? I think it's some of that. I think it's. Um, I was. Really, I felt really inspired by being on tour for the Thirteen Voices cycle. Right. So that was about three years we were on the road, and as soon as I got home, I just had so many ideas. I was just so excited. I guess by watching everything grow and see everything get bigger, and you know, watching the crowds react to the new stuff and to the old stuff, and just it being bigger than we'd ever been, right. it made me just want to get back out there and do it again. Nice. You know, see where else we can take this. No, it's exciting. Yeah, it's definitely spurring you on. Because, yeah, I saw some of the live shows, especially on the festival circuit. I guess that's an initial point to touch on is the fact that in these live shows, particularly on the last album campaign, you had all the old school fans who remembered mm-hmm. it from the old days. Such a massive new audience kind of yeah. discovered you through that last record. I mean, how was that? Did that affect you going into writing, knowing there was a, a new audience? Yeah, yeah, they, that was the thing. Like seeing the reaction from the fans towards the new stuff and the old stuff was really inspiring. Um, you know, it made me want to write more new stuff. Yeah, no, it's amazing. And it's funny that you say that it came so quickly on the writing this time because you have taken some kind of bigger steps in things that I, I don't think I've seen Sum 41 do before. I mean, for example, I know you've touched on political areas in mm-hmm. the past, but you know, 45 a matter of time that is <laughs> definitely a big political statement it, see though i don't look at it that way i okay. know it probably can appear that way to me i looked at it as a very personal feeling like if, if it i don't necessarily think it's a political record but if you were to say something sure maybe it's a personal protest in a way it's more of just my feelings i'm not really sure. speaking about specific things um you know i'm not talking about necessarily policies and like immigration and you know things like i'm not trying to change the world or you know change any policies i'm just saying eh, he's not my kind of guy yeah 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 (laughs) exactly putting out your viewpoint he's not your kind of dude i get that but again that's got to be a testament to kind of renew confidence trying something that is is even if it is from a more personal perspective certainly new territory for you as a songwriter i would say in in a way i mean we've done it before i've uh in the past, like I've been vocal about, or I was vocal about George Bush, yeah. um, as were a lot of people. But uh, so I didn't really feel like it was that new. The difference for this time is that I didn't necessarily want to go there. I didn't really right. want okay. to write anything about. I felt like the music for me was to take me away from all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it just kept creeping into it somehow. And I just felt like, well, it's something in my subconscious that probably has to come out. So I just yeah. allowed it. And again, on a kind of similar but different note, you know, like you say, music can often be this escapist thing and you use it to Mm -hmm. escape those kind of deeper topics, but um, particularly on the current single. I mean, nevertheless, that's such a a beautiful, beautiful song. And again, deeply personal. Yep. Um, Again, I I guess that must have come from this place of renewed confidence, be able to put yourself (laughs) out there in that way, right? I think it comes from a place of, I don't know, just the subconscious. Right. Because I don't necessarily feel like there's some you know, uh, confidence in what we're doing that's different than the past. It's just these words come out of somewhere and I can either try to fight it, which I did, especially with Never There and 45. Mm. Um, But the songs just started to take a weird turn. They don't make sense and I don't understand what I'm saying and I can't sing the lyrics properly. So I just, I find it's best to just do whatever's coming out, just follow that path. Yeah, how did that particular track come together in the studio then? Where did that, what place did that one come from? That was never supposed to be on the record. Never There was never supposed to be a song. It was just something that kind of came out quickly 
And I thought, well, okay, I'll finish this song, but it's never going to be a Sum 41 song. Right. Um, and my manager heard it. I played it for him after the record was done. And I said, I got this other song. What do you think I should do with it? Maybe we give this away or something? Or, And he said, why would you give this away? And I just thought, well, it doesn't make any sense to be on the record. You know, the record's a little bit heavier. This doesn't seem like it fits. And he said, it's one of the heaviest songs you've ever written, just in a completely different way. Right, exactly. Yeah. So once he said that, I thought, well, maybe it does belong on the record. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that in the future, then you're going to be able to explore more different kind of musical styles in that way? Because like you say, it is a very different move for you guys and from the rest of the record, but still fits. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we've done some of the slower stuff in the past. We don't really do it a lot, but um, I don't know. I don't really ever think about what we'll do in the future or... You know, or yeah. what we've even done in the past. So just do what we ever, what feels right at sure. the time. It does feel bad asking about the future when the album is about yeah. to come out. Yeah, yeah fair exactly. play. You're still you're still in this mode. I respect <laughs> that. Uh, do want to look back a little bit though, because just a couple of things we've been asking everyone about recently, actually, because it was the Warp Tour 25 that's mm -hmm. just gone by this past yeah, weekend. Yeah. Just been getting people's favorite Warp Tour memories recently. Do you have any particular favorite memories of Warp Tour? Growing up with it, playing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would say the biggest memory and the most important memory I have of it is going to it for the first time in 1996. And that going to it that day was the reason we started the band Sum 41, because we saw all our favorite bands like No Effects, Pennywise, and just, I mean, tons of bands, Unwritten Law. And we just thought, this is what we want to do. We want to yeah. be a band that can play at the Warp Tour. So we started Sum 41 the next day. Or pretty much like you know that afternoon we said wow. you know we're starting this band and here we go we're gonna one day get to the warp tour and then we ended up doing the warp tour a bunch of times over yeah. the years yeah amazing experiences what well, any particular favorite memories from being out on the road on it at all yeah well you get to hang out with a lot of those bands yeah. i remember the first time we did like the whole thing was in 2001 and um you know fat mike was on it uh rancid was on it um you know, there's just lots of bands the year right before it. Green Day was on it. Yeah. And we, we did about two weeks of that. So you, you just get to be on tour with all these mm. bands that you grew up listening to. Yeah, that's an amazing experience. It really is. And and going back again to that time, you know, you've just done this uh, amazing tour looking back at uh, Does This Look Infected mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, which is amazing to see. Do you think, I mean, it's a couple of years off now, but has there been any early discussions about maybe revisiting or in the same way? <laughs> You know we'd all love it. I don't know. Um, it's possible, I guess. Yeah. Is but it something you think you guys would be open to? I mean, it was it was interesting to see you look back at Does This Look Infected in particular as that album. The reason why that worked out was because of timing. Right. It's just we were off that year. We had just finished right, okay. the 13 Voices, and that came up, and we just decided to do it, you know? Right. We'll see if it works out again for something else. Yeah, if the stars align, maybe. Okay, yeah. we'll go with that. We're, we'll we're not that. opposed to it, but it has to make sense. Yeah, I understand that. Scheduling, all that kind of stuff. Well, hopefully. You never, never know. Um, I guess my final question has to be kind of what's coming up next for the rest of the year? What are your kind of plans moving forward as we get into this new era of Sum 41? Will we see you back in the UK first and foremost? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we're working on a tour and i don't know when it's going to be but i think early in the new year we're trying to come back right. um nothing's like in set in stone yet so i don't sure. want to say yes no, or fair no enough. but that's what we're working on okay exciting stuff well um really great to hear from you man uh amazing album and genuinely congratulations oh, no no really really great to hear and we'll see you again in the uk very very soon we hope cool thank you very all much all right derek everybody